Hi, I'm Varsha and you're watching this video from JustTutors.com and in this video we are going to learn about exponents and powers and in exponents and powers we are going to learn about how to express large numbers in the standard forms. So before moving to our today's topic, we'll try some warm-up questions. Here are the warm-up questions for you. To try these questions, you can pause the video. So as you can see that in question number one you need to use some important laws of exponents to simplify the given equation. So if it is 7 raised to the power 0, the answer is 1. As we all know that any number raised to the power 0 is 1. Even if it is 2, 8, 6 raised to the power 0, the value is 1 only. Now in the next as we can say that base is same. Now we need to add the powers which is 8 whole to the power 2 which we can write it as 8 over 16. Now we move ahead to the topic which is expressing larger number in the standard form. So standard form is the easiest way of writing big or small numbers. For example if it is 58,586 so we can write it as 5.8586 times how many digits are there after the decimal to the right hand side? That is 4. That is, we need to times it by 10,000. Or we can write it as 5.8586 times 10 to the power 4. Because 10 to the power 4 is same as 10,000. For another example, if it is 4,5980, so we can write it as 4.05980 into 10 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 so it is 5 here or we can write it as 4.0598 into 10 to the power 5 so whenever we are moving the decimal number towards the left the powers are positive and whenever we are moving the decimal point to the right hand side the powers are negative for example if it is 0 0.4269 so that would be we are moving this 4 to the left hand side that means we are moving a decimal to the right hand side so that would be 4.269 how many places to the left we have moved the digit that is only one place so that is 10 raised to the power minus 1 if it is two places like 2.569 so 2 is being moved two places to the left so that would be 10 raised to the power minus 2 so in this way we can solve the questions here are some questions for you to try these questions you can pause the video so the answer for this question would be 8.96542 10 raised to the power 5 here it is 5.98761 to 10 raised to the power 5 again it's 5. Point 9.75426 into 10 raised to the power 6 here it is 6.985421 into 10 to the power 6 now we move ahead and here are some more questions and in this question you need to find out the following as in the expanded form so these are the questions so it's 8 raised to the power 10,000 that is that would be 8 times 10,000 which is 80,000 next is 5 times 1,000 so that would be 5,000 next is 0 so we'll put a 0 here next is 9 times 10 so that would be 90 next is 1 times 10 to the power 0 which is 1 so we can add them up so the answer is eight five zero nine one <coughs> oh here it is seven there is no digit for ten raised to the power four so we'll put the zero for that it's nine three there is no digit for ten to the power one so it is zero again it is five so this is the answer now we move ahead and here are some more questions now you need to express this much big digits in the standard form so it is 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 raised to the power 10 it's here 1.8 into 10 raised to the power 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. It's 10 raised to the power 9. So in this way, we can express the big numbers in the standard form. So here are some practice questions for you. To try these questions, you can pause the video. So here are the answers for the questions. You can match the answers and you can pat your back as you're working really good in using standard form to express large numbers. Thank you for watching the video. For more, please visit justutors.com.